Hello Minecraft fans, Dave Chaos here, and today I'm going to be doing a mod spotlight. Um, some of you will recognise where I am in a moment. Um, I've had a lot of requests for this map, so I will give you a download, it's in the description. Um, unfortunately, because of the mob, mod, mob, <laughs> the mod update, um, you won't get everything that uh, you'll recognise. So without further ado, do you recognise this house? <laughs> yes, I'm going to be doing the Ether Mod update spotlight. I'm just going to point out all the new things. Um, I've already done a playthrough of that. If you've not seen my Ether playthrough, you uh, you should go watch it. It's some of my early stuff, right back to the roots. Um, so yeah, I found my old map. Um, my texture pack's not quite right, just, just ignore that. And a portal is still exactly where I left it. And funnily enough, I still had all my items, but um, it does say that the new update may not. Oh, bloody hell, that was loud. Um, it may not, um, you know, uh, carry over the stuff that you used to have, which unfortunately it hasn't. When you go into the Ether now, the house that I painstakingly copied over is uh, no longer there, and the spawns all reset, and all the dungeons have reset. So. I suppose in one respect it's good for you guys because you get to play the same map that I did um, and in another respect unfortunately you don't get the same stuff that I had but I will leave the house here in the overworld and uh, without further ado let's um, head off into the ether and see what's new And here we are, right back at the uh, spawn that I was at last time. Uh, as you can see, remember last time my portal was right on top of the golden tree? Luckily enough, I've still got a golden tree. The portal was up there somewhere in the sky. That's where I made my first house. Yeah, so it has, it's all reset, but it's the exact same location. So, hopefully, when it's finished loading... Um, there should be a dungeon right there, which I think there is. Yep, it's just coming into view now. Wicked. So all the, the my extremely lucky spawn that I got last time, do you remember? Um, yep, there's the other dungeon. Seems to be exactly the same as it was. Wicked. So, let's get on to the first item that's been added to the game. So, here we go. This is the uh, the new item been shot at. Uh, it's called Crystal Trees and they can be found on these little floating islands and as you can see there's quite a few of them knocking about if we go up and these little beauties have um, what's called white apples on them. Oh I've got creative mode on uh, so one minute let's see if I can um, do 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 do. Let's, let's try over speed. Oh god, it's not gonna work, of course. Silly me! Yeah, <laughs> right. If I wasn't in creative mode and I wasn't being shot at, I would show you this. Well, it seems fairly safe. Let's, let's give it a go, see if I don't bloody die. There we go, I got one. There we go. So, this is, like I said, a white apple. What it does is it cures poison. So it'll cause, it'll, let's see, I'll show you. Pop. And it lasts for six seconds, and if I was poisoned, it would cure it. So there we go, that's uh, your crystal trees, which are floating about all over the place. Oh, everywhere. Um, it'd be quite a challenge to get to these, I think, though. Yeah. Oh, this is uh, Christmas trees. Um, apparently they're, they're pretty rare, so I'm quite lucky to find one. This is just around the corner from the spawn. And you get the option to uh, switch the Christmas mode on or off. And uh, yeah, there you go, a Christmas tree. I've got myself some snowballs. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I like the way it just snows just near the tree and nowhere else, that's quite a nice touch. Oh, I'm in creative mode still, hang on a minute. 
There we go. Right, so I don't know what's in these. Ah! Oh my god! I was not expecting that. <laughs> That's not a very nice present. No! Why am I getting just TNT? Okay, okay, I'm, I'm starting to see a theme here. <laughs> Yay! Who's XP in that one? These Christmas presents aren't very nice. Yay! <gasps> cookies! Yay! More cookies! Yay! <laughs> So, there you go. I got quite a bit of TNT there. Um, lots of XP and cookies. Check out the cookies. So, gingerbread man. Mmm, nice. Uh, doesn't look like I can eat it though. It's strange. <laughs> right, so it's just a gingerbread man. Doesn't seem to be doing a great deal. Okay, so the other thing you can do now is with your Ambrosium Shards, you should be able to grow um, ether grass. So, there we go. Check that out. Ah, isn't it nice? <laughs> so, basically, the point of this grass is uh, anything that's grown on it so for example if you had a, a golden tree growing on this grass you've got more of a chance of um, having a better loot drop so basically anything that grows on here uh, your loot drops are going to be better or or higher for that matter so that's the point of this stuff that's pr pretty handy and then the last thing I wanted to show you What's been added is these berry bushes, and uh, these things. There we go. They drop berries. So let's see if I can get a couple. Yum 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 yum. Berry bushes. There we go. It's got blueberries. Um, uh, what they'll do? They'll fill you up with uh, one full hunger bar instead of half a hunger bar. Uh, these new new items, which is nice. And the other thing that's been added um, is sweats will now drop sweaty balls. <laughs> and the sweaty balls can be right clicked onto ether dirt, which will grow into ether grass. Um, so, let's see. Mm, not really seeing any anywhere. Any sweats knocking about? So I can get my sweaty balls. Oh, I searched high and low for a sweat, but I can't find one anywhere. So there we go, the Ether mod. Um, I know uh, Mojang have just released the 1.1 update. Uh, this is 1.0.1, I think it is. Um, yeah, so if you want to try out the Ether mod, you, you know, the updated version, you're going to need to stay on the last version of uh, Minecraft. But uh, yes, I will include my map. Um, because I have quite a few requests for that. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed. Very short video, I know, but um, you know, this was mainly a lot of bug fixes and um, a few little extra bits and bobs added to the game. Um, and like I say, uh, I've already done a massive playthrough of this. So if you want to watch it, you can find it. Um, I will link the playlist to it. And uh, see you all soon. Bye.